I'm alive, and I'm back. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Are you fucking? You... <laughs> the games, the games updating. The games updating. The the <laughs> the games updating. Uh, well, while the game is updating, I get to just sit here and chill. My eyes have been really bloodshot lately. You can see the ring light. <laughs> you can see the ring light. Nothing going on in chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna move chat up. Chat's been moved up to, um, up. Well, while I wait for the game to, to download, I think I might go feed my cat. Yeah, like the game's game's downloading. It's taking it's taking a sweet time. Nothing's going on in chat. <laughs> I'm gonna refresh my stream manager. Bot.
this is dropping them into the community and give them channels. There's a lot of people here. Get the game's taking a fucking while to update. Damn. Several rules. Several rules. Very cool. Very cool. Rec system. Was that just downloading the update file? Okay, I'm fucking... Ah... Uh... <laughs> oh, the game... The game worked. What? Very cool. Oh yeah, right, the g game's done. Game's done, I can look at chat again. What? <laughs> the game's finished down updating. What is? Expelliarmus! 
Incendio. Oh shit. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Nothing to do now. Jeez. <laughs> okay, starting off strong, I guess. Incendio. Oh my god. Nice one. Uh. Incendio. Finished the spider's lair. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented you. Huh. Have I run around the whole thing? Maybe maybe running around it's not gonna work. Uh is there a pathway that links up to it? I saw that. Stood, stood no chance, actually. What is, what is this? Am I supposed to? Lumos. Am I supposed to put something there? Stand on it with Lumos activated. I don't know.
earlier. Interesting. I am wondering so far away from the mission marker at this point, but is that fucking Stonehenge? I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Probably not. You're probably not safe to explore anywhere, for that matter, but... You do... How nice to see you, my young friend. So, how, how do you even get in there? Expelliant! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Well, that's all my spells. Uh, I need to head back to the mission marker. And off the cliff. The first time I've died. First time I died. And it was fall damage. Let's try this again, but with less dying. Yes, uh, I'm gonna get some water from my obnoxious, as as my word. from my obnoxiously large water bottle. Okay. Goon, Richard. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Dick Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. What? 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 He just teleported away! Bro, excuse me, what? Is that right? He just warped! I did not stray too far for the path. The game's broken. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, I'd follow Jack Door into the Forbidden Anything Forest. Else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Hey, bro, Surprising where where are you going? Is rather unfortunately that way. coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep... Nothing to do now, but keep going. Yeah, nothing to do, but just leave, my good friend. Some stuff right there! Oh. 
Did he die? I didn't even defeat him. Bro just simply passed away. He he For couldn't fish, take Jack the was heat. Surprisingly as good as his word. He couldn't take the heat. He just died. Lumos. A puff skin. That's so cute. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Rebellion. Oh shit. I will make you pray. Expelliarmus, incendio. See where Jack Doris led me. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they died. Jack Doors tomb. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wonder how big this place is. I don't wonder how big this place is. This is a spider's den. That is a very similar symbol to the ancient magic. That must be where all this leads. Did Jack Door die due to magic? Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Can I stop getting interrupted? Jesus. Magic. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Did ancient magic kill Jackdaw? I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Uh, the web's gone. I can walk now. Oh my god. Can I hide? Or are they still gonna know where I am? Curious silver spectacles. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> hey, fine, I'll pause the game and go to my gear if you're not gonna let me see the friggin' map. Base one? Kind of, kind of funny. I have unlooked at gear. Looking very fancy. Died. He died. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Accio. Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. However, there were split pathways, and I don't want to rush this. Split pathways. Expelliarmus. 
Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Another puzzle. Well, if Chatfield could solve this, so can I. So, where? Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. It definitely just seems like ancient magic. Okay, uh, well, now that I know that that takes me down the main path, I can now go back and check out the other thing. Chest. An untouched chest. Tarantor wasn't very thorough in his search. Alright, well, time to get rid of some useless stuff. Destroy that. Uh, destroy that. I think I'll get rid of any blue and green items. It's worse. Sell those two. Outfit. Remove. 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 And then I'll sell those two. Alright. Well, that wasn't worth it. I should have just got rid of the gloves at that point. Rebellion. Alternate pathways. Rebellion. 
That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Obviously, Rebellion. you thought wrong. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. And they're gonna ambush me the second I get there. Rebellion. Bro, this place is huge. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh my god. Yep. So much stuff to collect. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. These are all ancient the magic. Skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Bro, this place just keeps going. I think I, I think I know. If I bring that out. I can jump over to there. Can I, I can stand. I can't stand on that, apparently. And there's more ancient magic chests. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind. Shut the fuck up. But where could he be? Oh uh, yeah, don't go off the ledge, please. Possibly, I can't possibly do that. No. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I gotta change my gear again because I've just found some infinitely better. Equipment. Headwear. 
You're telling me he just left all this great equipment? Damn. He's not a very good Tomb Raider. But now I'm lost. It is. The bridge, it's almost complete. There it is, the place that I don't want to be because I missed a few areas while exploring because the game likes to break off into too many optional paths. An untouched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Expelliarmus! Too many. Revelio. I gotta have to side with you on that one. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Uh, okay, it uh, looks like I have to go back that way. Looks like I gotta go back this way. Spiders. These can't be what the head of Richard Jack did. Accio. Expelliarmus. Nebulosa. Accio. Incendio. I already killed one of you earlier. Did I not? Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Yep. Totally, dude. Totally. I hate spiders just as much as I hated them before I came here. Oh, Mel is sweet. I can complete more Merlin quest lines.
I thought I'd, I thought for sure I'd have to redo that. I did not think I'd get that first try, but oh well, here we are. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Rebellion. I think I may have found what I'm looking for. Chest of a. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Could I not just repair the the wand? Rebellion. Thank you, I'm Brandon94 for the follow. Much appreciated. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. That's hurting the sides of my head. Is there something beyond this room? Yep, knew it. Oh, one of the big guys. Uh, hmm. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Interesting. That's a great question. Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? That is a great question. Rebellion. <laughs> Did 
the fucking gargles. Bro, looks so dumb. I can explore before I speak to him. Can I leave? Nope, I have to speak to the portrait. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started the Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access Expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Uh, your connection to ancient magic, ma magic. magic has unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend. How many talent points do it for? <laughs> 14. The Dark Arts. Disarming Curse. There's a curse on enemies. Curse enemies take increased damage. A longer effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Spells? Uh, casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. Enemies near a target summoned by Accio are also pulled to you. Enemies near a target levitated by Levioso are also levitated. Gonna acquire all the basic ones. Core, core talents. Basic cost impacts reduce spell cooldowns. Cool the ancient magic meter. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. That's fucking sick. Hold R2 and tap in a direction to swap an unlocked spell set. That sounds helpful. Wiganwell hears you to a greater effect. 
Uh, new spell set. These enemies struck with stupefy remain stunned for a longer period of time. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. That's helpful. Blocking a spell with perfect protego will send two projectiles back at enemies. Basic cost airborne absorption. Impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to ancient magic meter. Increase the range of Revelio. Stealth. Uh, enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Okay. Uh, room of requirement. What? Endurance potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectiles. For each Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, these all have to do with potions. I'll upgrade those last. I don't really need those. I like that one. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Ah, oh. all right. So that one, and then dark arts expelliarmus. These are cool. I like these. I'll take Wigan Weld heals to a greater effect. And also I'll have an I'll have a spell set. Benefits of leveling up early. Talent for spending. Spend five talent points. Nice. Alright, so what do we got? This is just my general one, and then this one's gonna be... Combat. Rebellion. The Room of Requirement skill upgrades are only good if you use I potions a lot, the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Rebellion. Handy resources. I have a lot of money. 
might go buy some new clothes. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Unidentified neck item. What? Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Interesting. That's a fancy little thing. Unidentified neck item. Unidentified back item? Is it a cape? Could it be a cape? Potentially. It could very well be a cape. I have no idea. Revelio. I think I might just keep that one. But. You need to learn to pulso the banishing charm. Use Rebellio. Accio. Gotcha. Required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Gotcha. Revelio. It's in the locked room, of course it is. Sleeping Dragon Statue, the Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormians Nunquam. The land this means never take off a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Rebellion. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once. Born the inscription Pioneer in Dragon Taming should not have started with the Hungarian Horntail. That's sad but funny. Gotcha. House token? Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Oh, that's a frog choir. I know where I am. Revelios. Uh. Let me turn the fan up. Getting nearly enough air as I fucking need it so hot. Sweating. I'm also wearing my beautiful Harry Potter shirt. Go to flying class. Attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-de-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice <laughs> over the summer holiday. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them Wish returned in one room. piece. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? The broom better not be that slow when, like, flying through your own. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this. That wasn't too bad. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, I saw that last time. That's fucking terrifying. Ha! Good. I've got this. you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough i'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging 
but I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as... Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. to be oh hello professor we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions mr clopton i am disappointed in you you're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself or frankly your broom the proper respect but professor enough class is finished for the day As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Yeah, we did well. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky.
Lumos. Revelio. Sprint Witch's sporting needs. Uh, run by the amiable uh, LB Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that LB himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Yes, that's a four. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Oh, okay. Your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I put my remote under the desk. There it is. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave it there. I'll have I will be returning soon. Just gotta go eat dinner. So, bye bye for now.
I've returned. I'm alive. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wing wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you have the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? I'd like to sell a few things first. Nice doing business with you. Okay, perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Finely crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I'm sure Thanks I will. I just, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's truck. You see. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of I'll any skip broom. skip the dialogue because I don't care. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the... I know succeed, where one of them is. It's in the Quidditch grounds. I found it earlier. What's that? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Dialogue Since options. Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers maneuver the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade How does this dampen my I voice? Oh, oh, I looked at the soundbar. It dampens it a fair bit. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with i need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying your classmate everett said you're a natural on a broom he's forever in here studying the newest models almost as passionate about brooms as i am if your room of talent for flying can help you beat imelda's times then having you assess the broom will be invaluable <laughs> did he just indirectly say that imelda's like a cocky asshole who he can't cooperate with because he just doesn't want to deal with her. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help. Yeah, no, he did. He does look a bit young. The most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. He did look a bit young. I did notice that. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I 
I don't really like the goggles. Ah, they give me such a big defense boost. What the fuck? I like the I like the hat more. I like the hat more. I'll keep that. I am honestly not really too phased with stats anymore. I just sort of want to go for what I think looks nice. And that, that does look pretty good. My defense is so low. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. I gotta sell some shiz. Sell, 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 sell. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Bye bye. Revelio. He's just not going to acknowledge me. Where's the uh, guy with the what? Demanding delivery. Al Oh, okay. Interesting. The hog's head. The three broomsticks. I somehow completed this without ever speaking to him. Rebellion. I don't know how. The three broomsticks, currently run by Sirone O'Brien, and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the three broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy butterbeer or fire whiskey. What is that? Nice alcoholic beverage. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine, Willacy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness. Everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying <laughs> Oh, Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Ja Jack, the bird guy. The ghost who we just completed the main quest for in the... not just... The guy who gave us a bunch of That's shit that we much. just sold. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I have. I've already did. seen where they lead. They lead to treasure. Right around here. I hope to see you soon. Miss Willardsey. Could you remind me what it is that you needed? Of oh, course. No, skip. Skip the dialogue. Find the butterflies of the forbidden forest. Well, that's not particularly what I planned on doing. What? What are my rewards? 
uh, it tells me what my rewards are, right? Flight, flight test. Conjur conjuration spell crop. Interesting. Ah, uh, where's the suit guy? Glad rags wizard wear. There's also a thing there that I haven't quite yet acquired. Beast supply shop. Rebellion. I almost feel like we're putting those chests in pain. But like, I can't, like, confirm that. Flood rags. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. Hello, I'd like to find some cool stuff that I might be able to equip. Do you have any nice hats? Uh, I might just hold on Celtic Hero Cape. 53 Geometric house cloak Twilight cloak I'd say that looks as if it was made for That's just. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Ooh, <laughs> I like the look of that. It's a geometric house. It has high offense stats, but like. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Ah. Uh... Okay, now that's. That's cool. I'd say. That looks as if it was made for you. Compare. Oh, I'll purchase that. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I like that scarf. It looks nice. That's Gryffindor. Looks as if it was made for you. Nah. I like the cloak. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'm not I feeling the hats. As if it was made I'm not you. feeling the hats. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. They look good. They look good, and they also have very nice stats. My defense is still so low. Where can you buy glasses in this game? Can, can you buy glasses Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about.
I was gonna say, I wonder. Incendio, Accio, Leviosa. How on earth do you interact Lose. with these guys? What? Uh, butterfly time, I guess. Uh. Okay, basilisk breeder. Oh my god, we got lore for the basilisk. That's crazy, bro. Broom. Whoa, you can get a lot of brooms. lead to Hogsmeade. Okay. This is nice. I'm seeing an area. Fedora. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm liking this game. some glasses that aren't goofy and or wacky all right yeah no all right, I'll, I'll accept that Oh my god, I'm going to die. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Spider Fang. Incendio. Come 
this. Miss Willensy might get an answer about these butterflies. Revelio. Bro, stop getting caught on rocks. I need to follow these. Butterflies, where are you going? Leading me to some treasure. Oh, changing trajectory, I see. Rebellion. Well, well. Ah. Look what we have here. I see. Go up. See what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. What's up here? Show you something good, right? Damn, you can't enter Hogsmeade while on a mount? That's kinda... stupid. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what 
What happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Ooh, I got a flower box. Oh wait, I leveled up. Talents. Yes, I leveled up. I have new skills available to me. What core skills can I learn? Wow, I just have infinite range, I guess. Rebellion. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? Hello, Jay Pippins. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Alright, now it's just time to get outside of Hogsmeade as fast as I can. So I can use my mount. I just have the ability to fly all the way over. I wonder, can I fly up to the very top of the tower? Or is it gonna, is it gonna, is the game gonna cock block me? Am I not gonna be able to get up there? Because the game is just not gonna let me in the tower. The it's gonna let me fly all the way over. Ah, I can't go any higher. Oh, no, it lets me. Rebellion.
Wow, she's really far away. I okay, look, I like flying over. As boring and as tedious as this might look, I'm having f fun. They're dead, and I'm off to fight some more. chest down here that I didn't loot. Duplicate item. Should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? 
not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. He mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. I don't Very like well. you. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? I'd like to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Would you mind telling me a little about Kingbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Been terrorizing people. Robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst traveling near Kingbridge. You would not want to come face to horrid face with that monstrous thing. How did you come to live here in Cambridge? I've only been here a few years. Used to sell my wares as I traveled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Cambridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it. Which I suppose I do. What sort of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find their equal anywhere, even in Hogsmeade. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Rebellion. Ginger Root, the barkeep in Cambridge keeps a stock of ginger root, handy to fend off his customers of nausea and keep them imbibing a bit longer. Seen <laughs> rebellion. So I can see that. Uh, time to rob everyone. The tilted house, the locals call this a tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Rebellion. in store for me this time.
Belial. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Lumos. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. I level up again. Not quite. Ah. Uh. Ah, so gliding along the ground gives you infinite boost.
Oh yeah, what are these? Can I, like, pop them all? Huh. That's pretty neat. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion. This place has seen better days. than Hogsmeade. Nope, still level 19. Rebellion. Pat the cat. Gotta pat the cat every time. Every time you play the game, gotta pat the cat. Oh. Meow. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Oh well, I tried. Ah ha ha, I leveled up. Let's go. What is that? Petrificus Totalis Mastery. Core upgrades? Perfect. Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. Uh, it's going good. I recognize those types of messages from last time. No, I'm not interested in graphic design.
Oh yeah, I collected some gear. Gear that is significantly worse than the gear that I have at the moment. Okay, cool. Good, because I had like four people yesterday's stream go, Oh, you're interested in graphic design? I've been having to do some graphic work. Like, no. Well, it's good that you're not a graphic designer. Welcome to the chat. Just be cautious, because I don't like those types of people. They're annoying. Like, go promote somewhere else. Remove requirement. Ooh. I need to get out of the range. Hogsmeade, here I come. Yeah. They're always they always go for the new people. It's very annoying. It's very annoying and very frustrating. Rebellion. To just constantly see them all the time. Because I've been in a few other people's chats. there that I could pop. I'm gonna go pop the balloons. Fair enough. Those are ash wind winder eggs. Oh. Yo, what up? Man's dead. Rebellion. Got some free Ashwinder eggs. There's four of them. Ah, oh, that's a cool ability that I forgot I had. Forgot I even bothered getting that upgrade. Uh, I don't, I don't know, dude. I mean, approach the situation how you want to approach the situation. It's just a lot of them opened up with like, "Hey, man, how's it going?" And they say, "Good," and then they hit me with the ad. Are you new to streaming? Uh, I'm not new to streaming. I just haven't been streaming for a long time. I only just, like, now getting into, like, more consistent streaming. I used to stream every, like, once every few months, like, last year. But I'm getting, I'm getting into more consistent, like, every weekend, every week. That sort of stuff. So I'm not new to streaming, I'm new to sort of like consistently streaming. Technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. 
Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. You're Perhaps just salty You're not even Slytherin. Bitch. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin No, I wasn't focusing on other things. I just didn't really get into like doing it consistently. I was just sort of like, eh, do I wanna stream? Nah. Whereas now I'm just sort of like, okay, consistently. The only way I'm gonna build this is by being consistent. Because I'm not consistent. Then it's not gonna go anywhere. My remote's not on the table, it's under the table. Have I got low battery? Ooh, ooh, yes, I have low battery. Where is my charger? <laughs> no, my switch fell over. Shit. Let me balance my switch on top of my fucking other thing. Alright. Can you tell me more about these courses? <laughs> Stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. I don't like her. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Fell ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what yeah, we got. Yeah, fair enough. Fifth year. I don't like Imelda. She's a bit of a bitch, if I'm being honest. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. She's a bit of an obnoxious asshole. I could see why the broomstick guy didn't want to work with her. Damn, this flying stuff's not hard. I'm gonna smash her record. This is rather fun. Damn, all that talk for nothing. Damn, she can't be that- she can't be this bad, surely. Ah, uh, you're supposed to just beat her score. Which I did by almost a minute. Did anyone else see that? Didn't miss any rings? How's that for a first attempt? Beat her by about... 44 seconds? She's not gonna be very happy. Yo, what up, bitch? Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, uh, fine. You won. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Okay. Surely my win means I'll something. do the rest of them then. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted then. 
Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You know what? You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Well, uh, time to return to Albi. The actual nice guy. The guy that I like. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear He's how cool. I fared. He's cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you for agreeing with me. I was gonna be like, surely, surely no one likes her as a character. Straight up toxic trash. Fair enough. Fair enough, my man. Fair enough. I like how you can cheese the flying boost system by just cruising along the floor because you get infinite boost. Like the yellow meter in the bottom right doesn't run out if you cruise along the ground. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, he's in here. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Uh Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. I heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt their ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that the video with what's working fine will somehow itself. ruin it. Fair enough. Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality. I mean, I've life. I'm enjoying the game so far. All that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. Of course, they do nap in the afternoons, from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Snevick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Oh, yeah, so, um... How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to... Yeah, release for next-gen consoles was February. Release for older-gen consoles is April. And release for the Nintendo Switch is June. I feel sorry for anyone who only owns a Switch. R I fucking P. Can I upgrade it? Can I upgrade my broom? I wanna upgrade my broom. What are we looking for today? A broom upgrade, preferably. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Yep. Bye bye. Uh, where is? There it is. I'm gonna go see if he has any better equipment. Good equipment that also, uh, what other games you like to play? Uh, I platinum trophied Security Breach on stream. Uh, so Five Nights at Freddy's and Horror, uh, any other, any other horror, so any other horror games, really? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Got anything that I can wear that looks good? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. The dead space. Uh, no, I've. I 
expect you have I haven't played Dead Be Space. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. I was gonna get the Dead Space remaster. But I decided not to. For whatever reason, I decided not to. There's Hogwarts. Broom racing event. Where did she say the broom racing event was? This place is huge! Bro, it just keeps going. Uh, I've seen this icon at a location. Hover over it to reveal any hidden icons that may be at the same location. Damn, this game has so much stuff. Where did she say the uh, next place was going to be? Irondale. Irondale is where she said it was going to be. That's a long way away. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? That is a long way away. That's like a four minute flight trip. I've played Alien Isolation. It was very fun. I don't remember finishing it, but I do remember playing it. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I need to cruise as close to the floor as I can. So I can maintain constant speed. I see some balloons. Gotta go pop the balloons. Always, dude. All of Resident Evil. Uh, I've played some Resident Evil games. I played number seven in VR. What's going on over here? Incendio. Expand the office. Incendio. Expand the office. Aren't there poachers over here? For you. Well, I can't help him, so. Yep. Time to cruise my way on through. Played Outlast. 
I have seen like a YouTuber series on it though. Looks like a very interesting game. I played Blair Witch. Not that that's a very known one. I have played it though. I just cruise along the river. I never finished Blow Witch, who knows, I might stream it. Yeah, I watched 8-Bit Ryan's series on it. Mushrooms, mushrooms, chest. Forest tartan skull. Gotta fly away. I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Oh shit. Nice try. Akio, to get What have you done? Uh, I am in Ravenclaw, as evident by the big bird behind my level. Rebellion. Hello? Someone there? Yeah, she she died. <laughs> she dead. She didn't die. I killed her. She dead now. She dead. What is? Alright, so there's a money sack there. What is this? Merlin trial, that's right, Merlin trial. Rebellion. What the? Field guide pages. Doxy eggs, stolen by poachers for use in potions. These black eggs come from a doxy, a magical beast sometimes mistaken for a fairy. Interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think it's just go up. Most doors in Hogsley know me by sight. Dream of making a better world. What was that? Love you. 
Around here can sleep a bit easier now. Rebellion. That was a cool finisher. And it's just triggered by disarming them as they charge up their attack. You just set them ablaze by just going, oh, you're charging your attack? Disarm. Thank you. I know I did an excellent job. There is a flu flame here. Handy resources. Revelio, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I would appreciate a little help. What is it? If you What's wrong? Goblins. That's what. Radrocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. <sighs> if you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? Goblins got you yet? Or did you find some Maxima potion? No. No, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. If a wizard can't Goblin's count got on someone yet. in the wizarding what community to help some against goblins. goblins. No, no, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No. How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? All right. Oh my God. I mean, I don't have to get one. Expelliarmus, incendio. Damn, a 78 hit combo. 78 hit combo. What are you? What do you sell? Uh, 
Is the assets broken? Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Hey, Did you I remember know that this. She's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Can I get the maximum uh, potion from Huh? What do you have for sale? Maxima potion? Let's have a look, shall we? Maxima potion. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Can't hurt to have some of those. Get some mallow sweet. She has a broom. Family antique. This heirloom broom has been passed down for generations. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Sheepskin hat. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. Well, I got the maximum potion so nice I need. You to stop by. Flying's never been my forte. Where was that hut? It's over here. Hello, buddy. What are you up to now? Goblins got you yet? Or did you find some maxima potion? No, no, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? You're right, the world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Crit a storm around the drinker, which will stun, dam stun and damage nearby enemies. I'll keep it on Endurus. Oh, he gave me another wig and weld. Oh, I didn't. I'll leave it on Endurus. I'd like my broom back. Fly. It seems like I can climb that. Interesting. What do you mean landing is unavailable? I'm over solid ground. Okay. Can I land on the roof then? I cannot. Can't imagine how muggles get by with that magic. Repair us. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Uh I don't mind the odd one without magic. Rebellious. Jeweled brooch. This gorgeous brooch depicts a magical bird of some sort. Which particular magic bird is unclear, but some believe it's meant to represent one of medieval Irish druids. Druids. Druidus. Cliodna's birds who sang the sick to sleep. Interesting. Rebellion. Thanks for the money. I know no. some 
needs something grand. Uh, well, I can now untrack that. Revelio. Silver four eyes spectacles. Interesting. Rebellion. There was a chest down here Rebellion. somewhere, was there not? Incendio. Interesting. Where does Irondale stretch to? It might just be out here. Rebellion. Yeah, I know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing all of it. Maybe not all of it on stream, because that might take a bit too long. Could it be? I think he rested before I was dead. You know? Just a quick little snooze. He he a bit EP. What on earth? This looks intriguing. Is Lumos down Rebellion. here. Lumos. Here. 
Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Is this all that was down here? Well. It's interesting. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. I'm looking for a picture of a broomstick. Rebellion. And I have a feeling I'm not going to find it. Mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Come on there. Next time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Stop by. Incendio. You won't get away with that. Pick it, it's clever. Really and you. Oh, it's 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 always on the dip. No! Incendio. Wow, they really do not put up much of a fight. They really just sort of like accept their fate. Either that or I'm just way too powerful. Butterflies! I will get back to you. Fortunately, I have found some more balloons.
Rebellious. The field guide pages. Cinnamon bark. It seems that at least one goblin finds the food at this encampment a bit bland and has taken to adding cinnamon bark to their stews to liven it up. Ranrock to blame. Rebellion. Oh. Uh, can I search it? I can. Well, that's interesting. Uh, dive into the depths of wherever this is. Oh, my. Things at full charge again. Revelio. I feel like I'm going to encounter something that I'm not particularly going to want to see in here. Have I discovered Atlantis? Incendio. Akio. shitting me.
the gate opened. Revelio. Alright. Is that this area done? <sighs> Gotta love exploring secret areas. What are you? A Nifla. Rebellion. Yeah, I could just sell them. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Oh, I, shit, I just realized. Wait, hang on. How many inventory slots do I have left? I have nine. If I go to my challenges, I have a shit ton of stuff that I can collect. Has that filled up all my gear slots? No, it hasn't. Quests. Field guide pages. Well, I'm almost done the field guide pages. Broom appearance, night dancer. Oh yeah, oh uh, wait, so a comfortable and speedy broom, nimble broom with impressive style. Heirloom broom has been passed down for generations. That's cool, I like that. Collections. Traits. Can I craft any of these? Puff skin fur, puff skin fur, puff skin fur, puff skin fur. Beast supplies! I fucking. Ah, how could I forget about that? Rebellion. There's literally a store that sells beast supplies. That'd be funny. I just drop down. It is a Nora Treadwell. Incendio. 
Do it. I didn't mean to kill him. Rebellion. God damn it. I was trying to keep him airborne. Uh a shops assignment I think I might just use the map to warp back to where I need to go room of requirement and the map chamber broom racing event Complete a combat challenge. Interesting. Uh, I need to get a Hogsmead. Hogsmead beast supplies. I went all the way over to wherever that place was for nothing. I couldn't find the broom race. And here I come. Wait, cat. Cat, gotta pet the cat. In game, cat. Puff skin fur. It's locked, of course it's locked. Uh Can I wait? Eight probably gonna stay locked until I acquire a f uh, Maxima and a Duras potion and use them simultaneously. 
Where's the potions shop? Okay, but then there's fast travel. Like how the map sort of works, how Skyrim's map did. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Long. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Uh, so. Focus potion. Oh, wise decision. Maxima Thank potion. You. Maxima potion recipe. Invisibility potion recipe. Oh, I can well, sell well. all the equipment that I'm not wearing. Bye bye. Fairly bye bye. Good. Bye bye. Never to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Maxima and a Duris potion. And use them simultaneously. I bet there's an achievement for using all the. I bet there's an achievement for using all the potions at once. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books.
That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. What quests do I have? Room of requirement. Ah, I sure as ever spoken in a while. Uh Room of Requirement. I remember this from the movies and the books. Rebellion. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. The voice acting in this game annoys me. They sound a bit... Ro robot robotic? Robotic? <laughs> robotic? They sound a bit ro too robotic for my liking. A bit... A bit bit too robotic. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm. 
You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things. I don't remember what I said. I suggest I'm... you practice the wand movement. Brain first, brain no work. I forgot what I said. Away. Triangle, X, square, triangle. That's an interesting spell. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco. Evanesco. Oh, use that in place of that. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now oh, yeah, the yeah, right. Rebellion. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. It's a bit too unreal. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? Hey, I waited for My you. Old Shut up. Bag. I wondered where that had got to. Shut up, please. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, hey! Professor. Oh my god! Fucking stop interrupting me! Hey, I waited f uh, for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Rebellion. you keep it down some of us are trying to rest shut up i'll make you disappear i got moonstone from that oh uh Accio. rebellion interesting Getting the different spell sets was actually probably yeah. one of the good. This isn't as precarious as it looks. I think getting the different spell sets was really helpful. Because you have casual use, combat use, and then you have just damage. Sneak and combos, and then you have damage output, and then you just have regular exploration. With just switching to those if needed. Um, bit offended the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Hey, that's funny though. Wait, 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 wait. you gotta, you gotta try and go for the run up and roll. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Rebellion. I don't know, bro. They just do, I guess. I don't need what was that? moonstone. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. I not. Accio. Yeah, I can drag it further forwards. Rebellion. Accio.
Rebellion. Yeah, I don't see what I'm supposed to do. Can I... I wonder... Try making it float. Oh yeah! Ah, good thinking, good thinking. Good thinking. No, because see, I didn't think you could stand on objects that you that you make float. Because as far as my knowledge goes, that did not work earlier. Hey all. Welcome back. Welcome back. But can this? Man. I just need to straighten it up, and then that should be right to just get pulled straight through. My <laughs> power just flickered. That doesn't make me feel very well. Really? I can't, I can't jump up there. Bro, what? Let me answer. What the? I can, can I can break that? Expelliarmus. Repair. Lumos. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Capulso.
Levioso. Are you shitting me? Akio. Bro, what are you supposed to do? I uh, okay cool. I'll, I'll take that. I got the chest. I got the chest. I can move on. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I got the chest. through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Damn, this looks cool. This looks pretty neat. Uh, game volume might be a little bit too high. what you 
do with the space? Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Ah, uh, yes. Always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I found one of the. I found two of those actually. Uh, and they're not even good items. They're not even good items. What? One of them was a scarf, right? Yeah, they're not even not even good yeah it has a trait equipped to it but like damn oh yeah new wand handles I'll stick with the purple one Owl post. Uh, good day to you. Require assistance with the delivery. Oh, right. I never read that one. Purple. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Stingray alley. Purple. We got the purple. I almost have all of them in Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is not exactly a very large location. I can't be missing that many. I'm missing six. Day I have 69 out of 150. I guess I should just stop collecting them. What am I missing? Hang on. Mandrake. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Damn, how many spells have I learnt in the last like 20 minutes? Normally you learn one every once in a while. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands... So there's a reason I've been collecting moonstone up until this point. ...vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. I think I should have more than enough resources. ...by vanishing something I've already conjured. You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. I'm not a particular fan of... I need to actually add the conjuring potion.
that I have 230 fucking two. Why do I have that many? Small scientific potion stand, botanical, electrical, gothic. What do we, what do we think? What do we think? What are we thinking? Scientific, botanical, electric, or gothic? I'm thinking the either the electric or the scientific one. Botanical. The gothic one looks pretty cool. Electric? I'm gonna go with the gothic one. I could change its color. Yo, that's cool. Desk of description, I already have one of those. Wall hangings. Go with the gothic one. what the collection's for. That's, okay, I, I like this now, I like this. So this is why I've been collecting items. Figurated gothic table. Statues. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his influence. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at the previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? 
Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Interesting. Interesting. I need to get a mandrake. What do you got? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have over 200 moonstone? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Yeah, I'd like to replace the rug, thanks. That's as good as you're gonna get. Furniture?
wall decorations. Wait a second. Hey, it's just those two that need to be swapped around. I don't care if it's not even. Well, that was interesting. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit. Patterns? Your Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell.
Wait, what was that option it gave me? Oh, it applied it to everything. Okay, I like this. This is, this is cool. I'm liking the purple. Okay, this looks nice. I think I'm done. Adjust the size of an item.
Why do I need giant chairs? said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh... I'd like the room to be still. In, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Mm, sounds perfect. The place just got bigger? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spellcasting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell cards. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll lead you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely.
Let's dig. There you are. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Mm, sounds perfect. That complements the purple really nicely. Actually, I think the electrical design's really nice. botanical one look like I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience of course what's uh, the there's what sort one of more ambient look most appeals to you I like the room to feel natural uh, though I'm outdoors mm, sounds perfect it does sound perfect, Deke. What does yellow look like? Ooh. That... Yellow looks nice.
kind of embracing the blue. Alright, cool. I think that's going to do it for that round. It's interesting because at this point in time, uh, would, would, ele would electricity have been invented yet? I have no idea. Exits to lay astronomy tower.
Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the star stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Wait, is a uh... Alohomora? Interesting. Rebellion. Tiny little area down here. Field guide page collected. Lumos. Do I got the Findo? Acquire and use invisibility potion. Acquire and use Thunderbrew potion against enemies. It's in there. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Do any of the, my current quests grunt me a little more? Uh... Nope. But I got Professor Sharp's assignment. However, before I do that.
My dog decides to get up and pay me a visit. <sighs> okay, I'm having fun with this game. I'm starting to enjoy it very much. Seventeen collection chests, thirty one field guide pages, Keeper Breaking Camp Just gotta use it against an enemy. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Is it? No.
Rebellion. Finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. No. I look like a member of the Beatles. Let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Uh, I don't know, what am I up to? Could 
be interesting to see. Uh, field guide pages, maybe? I'm just gonna get like a bunch of, uh, Rebellion. Alahutsi fudge made with the leaves of the Alahutsi tree is fudge is a delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter.
How did I not think of that earlier? That's such an obvious solution. My brain just didn't comprehend that, apparently. Alan himself would be proud.
Should investigate. Rebellion. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor it is yet to become as popular as butterbeer, but no one knows. Uh, Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ramrock's balls. It's not right. What if I wait? Will it become unlocked during the day? Stealing from people. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Ah, uh, warning, Dugbog sighting. Be careful. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Botanical silver leaf. Is the style that I'm going for with my character. Bernard's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ramrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, 
We are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. That's not a good idea. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Revelio. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Wizards are running scared. As the truth is, Titanus. Wizards are running scared. As they should be. One less human to worry about. How nice of you to stop by. Cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Incendio. Expel the armors. The finger. Who lives 
Very Thank you. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madame Vermont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. Beaumont should have returned by now. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprothel. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Well, he's actually working with them. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. on Ranrock's Rebellion. Incendium. Rebellion. Rebellion. Pass 
the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. This looks intriguing. Incendium. to know what really happened to him. Rebellion. Send you. 
poaching days are over. Rebellion. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Bardo? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> Truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Bardo! Rebellion. Sebastian hears about this. An ash winder. Revelio. Incendio.
Easy, my large friend. Rebellion. See what's up. It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little guardian. Expelliarmus. Don't try that again. You're a slippery little shrike, aren't you? Finish up this and then I'm gonna call stream.
stately in its time. Rebellion. Incendio. Bro, let me land. Are you shitting me?
inconvenient travel was before I came to the city. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Rebellion. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I had a feeling there was gonna be something to come up in this. I had a feeling. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Under Rebellion. Rebellion. We used to play dog songs here all the time. With my sister. And she loved that infernal game. I wouldn't give the news to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Incendio! I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Getting it. Ready. Right out. Confringo! Stick to the target stone. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Rebellion! Have a go at those candelabras. Both Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used Rebellion. to it. Rebellion. Confringo. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. 
I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Good bring it to Feldcroft. I'll send you now. Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah. Well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbled upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo! enemy restore some of your health. Killing an enemy with a vertical double kills all cursed. 
plus enemies. An enemy under your control with Imperio curses other targets with each successful strike. Two talent points available. Go there. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I might get the rest of the flames that I'm missing. So I can just go anywhere for another. However, from his hand away, a crop mundulus membliconia in the 16th century, and the accompanying tsunami of sink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charms cannot seem to eradicate. Lumos.
Confringo! Rebellion! Indeed, your field guide. I know. Rebellion. Be included. Rebellion. Oh, we're all reached. Oh yeah, true, true. I did, I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, oh yeah, so thank you for the follow. Honey Duke's passageway, hidden behind the statue of one eyed witch, is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honey Duke. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Rebellion. in this game. It's been a while since I've done one of these door puzzles. Still got it. Rebellion. Architect, our Hogwarts architect shown here, surrounded by the four house mascots, designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is credited with creating its ever changing floor plan. Rebellion. House point hourglasses. These larger ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Rebellion. 
enchanted lantern serves as a spot from which the great headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Lumos. I'm gonna need to like, close up stream soon. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Great the whole ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Aha. I see. I see. I see. I see. Seven and nine. Although this smoke breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it is actually the Hufflepuff common room chimney. Rebellion. 
House Elf Mystery Book Rumored to Contain Some of Helga Hufflepuff's Original Creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste. If one took off the pear in the still life painting of a bowl of fruit, Google before turning into a doorknob to allow entry into a Hogwarts kitchen. of living quarters ever, ever practical and creative the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves along these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchen of course one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own Rebellion. kitchen tables when the Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it is magically transferred to the table in the Great Hall directly above. Oh, that's cool. Potato. Rebellion. To enter the Hufflepuff common room, one must tap the barrel two from the bottom middle of the second row in the rhythm of Helga, Helga Hufflepuff. An errant tap will result in being denied access. Kelpie statue. This statue depicts uh, the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. That's kind of a funny parallel to think about.
Rebellion. Indeed, your field guide. I'd most please be included. Confringo! tokens do I have? I have nine. I have over half of them. Because I said okay, I have ten. Because I got the one at the start. Rebellion. Lumos.
Uh, portrait of Barafio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barafio, famed for his brain elixir, and as an example of what happens when incantations are pro improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Mr. Dalian Key's challenge is coming along nicely. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Another house token for the house chest. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. <laughs> Rebellion. Troll armor, this official suit of armor was crafted for a troll that it has survived. At all is astonishing since trolls don't ordinarily wear armor, it would represent a BB point of smashing it in confusion and
Valios. I'm gonna go to my challenges. I'm gonna collect the things that I haven't yet.
save Well, today was a fun stream. I hit my follower goal of 50 out of 50. Um, let me just... <sighs> what's it, uh, what's it called? The uh, analytics, right? No achievements, Steam achieve, uh, not Steam achievements. This this time I'm still at forty nine out of fifty. Something's off. Oh, it's probably all the accounts that I banned yesterday for promoting in my chat. Follower goal of a hundred. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys enjoyed those that are still here. Uh, and I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.